हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग ऑफ आई टी फॉर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट फिफ्थ प्रैक्टिकल फ्रॉम एडवांस वेब डिजाइनिंग दैट इज एस ओ पी फाइव सो लेटेस्ट फर्स्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एस ओ पी फाइव प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन इज दैट क्रिएट अ वेब पेज नेम ऑडियो डॉट एच टी एम एल टू सेट एन ऑडियो फाइल इन द वेब पेज विथ कंट्रोल्स such that it uses html5 elements so we have to create audio.html file then we have to use any audio file within that web page with controls that audio file must play as soon as the web page loads in the browser that is it should play automatically whenever it load whenever that page gets loads in the browser and it will start over again every time it is completed that is whenever that audio will get completed every time it should start over again so we have to create such a audio.html file then again we have to create another web page named audio1.html which provides multiple source file formats for the same audio file that plays the sound automatically with controls so we have to create audio1.html which contains multiple source file formats for the same audio file and that file should also get automatically played with controls browser should display the message with appropriate attribute when audio file is not supported by browser here in this second program we are going to use multiple source file formats so if suppose one of the format is not getting supported by any browser then browser should get, uh, should display such a appropriate message this code must incorporate the list of sound file formats like wav mp3 ogg so uh, different sound file formats are there that should incorporate in this program so let us write down a program we have to create two different web pages audio.html and audio1.html let us finish the first part that is we will write first program of audio.html for that first open notepad and start writing a code first doc type html document type is html after that html tag start and end of html within html tag add a head tag start and close within a head tag we will add title tag to provide title for this web page so title and end of title within this provide any meaningful title suppose demo of audio element demo of audio element then close the head tag and let us open a body tag so open body tag then close the body tag and within this body tag we have to now add audio file so to add audio file we will use audio tag to specify audio file we will use attribute that is src attribute here we have to provide the file name audio file name so for that you have to download audio files see here create a separate folder for practical then within that again create a folder for sop5 practical within that i have downloaded three different files here audio files here see these two files are having a same name that is krish but this file is see here dot aac file and this file is dot mp3 file c 
see here dot mp3 file and this omg is dot mp3 file in this program i am going to use this file that is omg file so provide here name omg dot extension is mp3 after that we have to provide a type attribute which specifies type of audio file so its type is audio file of extension mp3 then this audio file should get play with controls see in the question audio file in the web page with controls so for that here to enable all controls we have to use controls attribute controls attribute here then again read the question audio file must play as soon as the web page loads in the browser that is it should play automatically so for that we have to use attribute here that is auto play attribute so auto play use auto play attribute then next part in the question is it will start over again every time it is completed so for that we should loop that audio file and for that we will use attribute that is loop attribute then close the audio tag and save the program we have to save this program with a name see here audio.html so save this program in sop5 folder audio.html save this now we will execute this program open this with microsoft edge and you can hear the sound see here file has automatically started again whenever it has finished these all controls are enabled because we have used controls attribute in the audio tag so in this way we have completed the first part of this practical that is creating audio.html file note down this program and execute it now let us complete second part of this practical so create another web page named audio1.html which provides multiple source file formats so here we have to use multiple source files it should also play automatically with controls browser should display message with appropriate attributes if the audio file is not supported by browser and code must incorporate the list of sound file formats so let us write down a program for it again open a notepad and start writing a code first doc type document type is html after that html tag start and end of html within that add head tag start and end of head within head add title tag start and end end of title tag provide any meaningful title here suppose audio with multiple sources audio with multiple sources now close the head tag after that open a body tag 
so body tag start and end of body within that we have to include here the list of audio file see here code must incorporate the list of sound file format so here we should add we should create a list we can create any kind of list suppose an ordered list then we will use ul tag to create ordered list we have to use ol tag now i am using an ordered list so within that add different list items using li tag li tag start and close within that add different audio file formats that is dot mp3 then dot aac let us copy it dot ogg then dot wav in this way you can add different sound file formats after that close the ul tag and then we have to now include the audio within our program so for that we will use audio tag start and close end the audio tag audio file should get played with controls so we have to use here attribute controls as well as it should automatically get played so use auto play attribute then here we have to use different file formats for the same audio file read in the question which provides multiple source file formats for the same audio file and plays sound automatically so so that we have used auto play attribute with controls so we have used controls attribute now we have to add here in this program we have to add here audio file formats so here i have downloaded two different files one of type aac and this file is of type mp3 so i am going to use these files in our program name is krish so here let us add the files with multiple sources for that we will use a tag that is source tag we have already studied audio element in detail if you do not remember this you can refer the previous videos for that src is equal to name of file is krish krish dot aac here type is audio and extension is aac now again we have to provide same file with different extension different format its format is mp3 and here name is krish.mp3 now let us save this program so here type any type a name that is mentioned in a question that is audio1.html so type here audio 1 dot html now again save program and now execute that file audio 1 dot html open it with microsoft edge
see here we have not used loop attribute that's why it is not starting over again here list of different audio files is getting displayed you we can provide here heading in this program see here before creating a list we can add here h1 tag to provide heading h1 and end of h1 then add here heading suppose list of audio files list of audio file formats list of audio file formats then again save the program and again execute it we can see here list of audio file formats we can increase the font of this list also for that we can use style attribute that is a inline style type so within this add attribute font size font size colon suppose 30 pixels save the program and again execute it see here audio file with having different file formats but same name have provided here have included in this program this file is getting automatically paired whenever the browser whenever it loads in the browser we have included list of audio file formats so in this way we have completed the second part of this program also so note down both of these program audio1 dot html as well as audio dot html note down these programs carefully and execute it thank you